Hi hey everyone, it's Laurel here on day 11 of my 31 day challenge. Um, thank you Marian for posting this challenge and keeping me on track. Um, it's six minutes to midnight and I didn't want, you know, January 11th of 2011 to go by with and, uh, and not be compliant with my goal. Um, I just finished my project and, um, I'm here today to tell you about today's featured artist, and um, this is an instance where the project is um, not, you know, not going to be able to be give, be sent to the artist um, because this person is such a rock star that their address is not available. Um, but that also does not mean that uh, I am not going to do a tribute to them. Um, because this person is uh, an inspiration to us all. And so without much further ado, today's featured artist is Tim Holtz. So you're probably living under a rock if you don't know who Tim Holtz is. Um, but I just thought, I, w I was having a very Tim Holtzy day today, um, because I was very fortunate and I had saved my pennies and and caught a sale and had the right coupon for once and and I was able to pick up um, his vagabond machine and I, I spent a lot of time tonight cutting some dyes for my you know some of his dyes for my friends my YouTube friends and um, I, I just had a fantastic time um, it, it you know just my my quick my quick uh, Two cents on the machine is, you know, I've used it for one evening and I find it to be very easy and um, I, I really love it. But anyway, to sing Tim's praises, um, you know, he's influenced me in so many ways. He's helped me find a style that um, of art that I really enjoy uh, creating. I, I love all his products, um, I, but you know what? I really love the way that he is. Um, in every video, he comes across as informative, um, helpful, approachable even. Um, and I just can't imagine, you know, he's, he's so, um, it must be hard for him. You know, he's, he's, he's doing what he loves, and, and I'm so thrilled that he shares it with us. But I can only imagine that, you know, um, having a, a very large public following of, um, you know, all of us crazy gals, it has got to be, you know, just amazing and uh, difficult at times. So I really applaud him, how he handles his public. And um, I just, I love absolutely, you know, I haven't seen an idea or a creation or anything that he's come up with that I haven't fallen in love with. From his books to, you know, way back, the Distressable books, um, to the Compendium, to Distress Inks, to Liquid Pearl, um, you know, he in, he reintroduced me to an, my favorite ink company, which was Ranger, and, you know, I live in New Jersey, they're in here in New Jersey, um, and, you know, now anything that Ranger puts out, I am, you know, dying to try, and you should too. So, I decided to use a lot of my favorite product um, that Tim has design from his various lines um, to create a tag that I would um, like to uh, remind myself and um, so I'm just going to go over how I put it together and um, and Tim if you see this video and and I would love to send you this tag because this has been such an inspiration to me this little phrase live the life you've imagined um, I try and do that every day, but it certainly is to have a nice, nice to have a, a, a reminder. So, you know, if you want to share your P.O. box with me, I'd be more than happy to send this to you. But anyways, dreaming. Sorry, girls. Um, so I created this tag, and I cut it out just of a file folder using my number 8 tag die and my new Vagabond machine, and it cut like butter, and that was great. And then I embossed it using the collage um, texture fade. And um, 
it happens to be a lot of my favorite images uh, of his. And then I stamped, I, I used, um, this is Black Soot Distress Ink, or no, I'm sorry, this is Archival Ink. Um, I stamped that just on some very vanilla cardstock that I col colored over with um, Stormy Sky, which is what the background's colored with. Um, this is the Umbrella Man. I just think, uh, I like that image. I always have. Reminds me of Charlie Chaplin in some ways, but it, it more so reminds me of Tim. Um, so, um, colored over with Distressed Ink, the Stormy Sky, um, self on pot dots. The bottom is some lace from my wonderful friend Julie. The brown uh, bloomers is Webster's Pages ribbon. And then this flower I made using the tattered roses or tattered florals dye and coffee filters. Uh, and then I colored it with a little Lindy Stamp Gang spray. Um, and then I created, I have some of his um, edges, uh, adornments. I'm not sure. There's so many cool names that I, I confuse them, but you can see I have the edges. And then I created this little... <coughs> charm uh, and I have down here I have one of his keyholes because um, it's about life and then and I love locks and keys and then I had this key that was gifted to me by my wonderful friend Carrie that I colored over with some um, Spanish copper rub and buff uh, we have a trinket pin a swivel clasp and um, the believe and then this is a little bauble that I had from a dollar store necklace that seemed to go. I edged everything with um, walnut, walnut stain distress ink. And of course, it would not be a Laurel project without some of my favorite trim. So I'll have the links below to Tim's blog. Um, he's sneak peeking all of uh, his CHA products, which are fabulous. Um, if you're not already a follower over there, you know, I really encourage you to be. Um, if you're into the, you know, the grungy um, type of uh, artwork, um, he has wonderful stamps, fantastic product line from dyes to, oh my goodness, all of these metal findings, metal pieces, fragments. I could go on and on. But what I wanted this video to be about and this tag to be about is to say, Tim, thank you so much. You gave me art. You gave me a new way to look at things. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow um, with Day 12's artist. Bye.